Hi. Now, in the past, we've seen that we can expand things like 1 plus x to the power n by using the binomial expansion. And this is a series in ascending powers of x, often known as a power series. Now, what I want to show you or introduce you to in this particular video is something called Maclaurin series. It will enable us to develop expansions for, for instance, e to the power x or cosine x, other functions like sine x, natural log of 1 plus x, and so on. And Maclaurin series is this particular formula here, that if you've got some function of x, it equals f of 0 plus the first differential of f of x, and then we substitute x is 0 into it, multiply it by x, and then plus f double dash, the second differential of f of x, substitute x is 0 in, times it by x squared over 2 factorial, and so on. Using this formula, we can develop these series like this. But what I want to do in this video is just prove to you how we get this result. And then in other videos in this series, we'll see how we can develop then these particular series and others. All right? So let's just start by trying to show you how we prove Maclaurin's series then. OK, well, suppose we say that f of x is any function of x. And suppose f of x can be expanded as a series in ascending powers of x, and that the series can be differentiated term by term. So we have something like this then. And a0, a1, a2, and so on are constants. So in order to discover what these constants are going to be, we can get the first constant very easily by just looking at f of 0. So for instance, if I substitute x to be 0 into f of x, then we're going to get a0 for the first term. As for the other terms, they're just going to go out as 0. So our first term a0 is going to be f of 0. OK, so that's a0. Now we're going to try and work out what a1 is. And to do that, we do the first differential of f of x, f dash x. So it assumes that we can differentiate this. And if I do differentiate this, then the first term's going to disappear. Next, we're just going to get a1. For the next term, it's going to be plus 2a2x. And then for the next term, it's going to be 3a3x squared. Next term, I'm sorry this is a bit tedious, but we need to do quite a lot of these terms, OK? So it's going to be 4a4x cubed. And then we'll make this the last one we do. It'll be 5a5x to the power 4, and so on. Now, if we let x equal 0, in other words, we work out f dash of 0, then what we have is that we just get a1, because all the other terms are going to be 0. Now, if I differentiate f dash x with respect to x, we've now got f double dash of x, OK? And f double dash of x is going to take out this term here, but then for this one, it's just going to give us 2a2. And for the next term, it's going to be 6a3x. But I'm not going to write 6. I'm going to write 3 times 2, a3, just x. You'll see why we do this. It keeps the pattern going. For the next one, it would have been 12a4x squared, but I'm going to write it as 4 times 3, a4 x squared. And for the last term here, it's going to be 5 times 4, a5, x to the power 3, x cubed, plus, and so on. So when I put 0 in for x, f double dash of 0 is now going to give us 
2A2. Again, the other terms are going to disappear. So it follows that A2 is going to equal F double dash of 0 divided by 2. Now, if we carry on with this system, we'll do it, say, one more time, okay? So do bear with me on this, okay? Because it will definitely bring out the pattern. So if we now look at differentiating f double dash x again, in other words, we now have f triple dash of x, then what we have is that this term disappears, but when we come to differentiate this one, we get 3 times 2 times a3, and for the next one, we get plus 4 times 3 times 2, a4 x. For the next term, it's going to be plus 5 times 4 times 3, a5 x squared, and so on. Okay? Now, if we just let x equal 0, we've therefore got f treble dash of 0 equals, these terms have gone out, but we're left with this one here, 3 times 2 times a3. And from this, we can see that a3 is equal to f treble dash of x all over 3 times 2. Now, for convenience, what I'm going to do is substitute, uh, or not substitute, but just write a 1 in here. It's not going to change this one here. 2, 2 times 1, still 2. And for this one, 3 times 2, if I put a 1 in here, it's still not going to change the value. But can you see that this is f double dash of 0 over 2 factorial? And this one here is f triple dash of x over 3 factorial. And this is what's going to happen to all our terms. I leave it to you. You could work out what a4 is going to be, and you should find that it's f to the differentiated 4 times over of x over 4 factorial. So what this leads to is this general result. And this general result is known as Maclaurin series. We've got f of x equals a0. a0 is f of 0. And then plus a1x. a1 is f dash of 0. f dash of 0. And that's multiplied by x. Then we've got plus a2. And we've seen that a2 is f da double dash of 0 f double dash of 0 over 2 factorial. And that's multiplied by x squared. Next term is a3 x cubed. a3 is f treble dash of 0 multiplied by x cubed. And it is divided by 3 factorial. And so it's going to go on like this. So the general term is going to be fr, okay, the rth differential of f of x. We substitute x is 0 into it and divide by r factorial and multiply by x to the power r. And it's an infinite series, so it just carries on, okay? So this is something that I would certainly encourage you to learn. We're going to be using this in the other videos where I'll demonstrate how we can generate series for e to the x, cos x, along with other functions as well. Okay, so I hope that's given you an introduction to Maclaurin series.